The holidays are a great time of year and we're often doing a lot of shopping, especially for Christmas gifts and all sorts of holiday celebrations. But did you know the holidays are also a great time to stock up on groceries? Let's talk about some of the best things you can buy over the holiday season. Hi, I'm Kristen here at Joyfully Thriving, and yes, I love a good stockpile because it saves me so much money on my groceries. And November and December are some of my favorite sale times of the year because I know some girls might go crazy over a shoe sale, um, but give me a good grocery sale, and that has me more excited than anything else. Okay, a good book sale might tie with that, but I do love the grocery sales this time of year. So I'm going to go through today and I want to give you a list of 10 different things to watch for that often go on very good deals right around the holidays, around Thanksgiving and Christmas time, as well as before Thanksgiving, all the way through after Christmas. So this whole month of November and December, these two months, make sure you're watching for the sales. And remember, don't just buy what you're going to need for Thanksgiving. Go ahead and think through Christmas and as much as you can. If you can think all the way ahead to next year, you're doing a great job of saving your family money by stocking up and buying things when they're on sale. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I definitely recommend you need to stock up on during the holidays is butter. Butter has skyrocketed over this past year, but you will always see good sales on butter around the holidays. Before Thanksgiving, all the way through Christmas, keep an eye out for the sales. There do tend to be limits sometimes, but when you find a good sale, go back, you know, send your husband in shopping, just stock up as much as you are able. I know around us right now in Northern Indiana, we're seeing butter on sale for $2.49 a pound. So that's a great deal figure out how much you need and go ahead and stock up for the whole year. I tried to track it last year and really stock up and I do a lot of baking, but our family went through about 60 pounds this past year. So that's my goal this holiday season is that by the time Christmas rolls around, I've stocked up on enough butter to get me through all the way to the next year. Butter freeze is great. You can always just pop it in your freezer. When you're ready to use it, move it straight to the fridge. It'll thaw overnight. You will never know a difference. So definitely stock up on butter. Another great thing to stock up on are your baking things, especially flour and sugar. Those two things you will see usually go on sale again around the holidays. Watch your prices and stock up. Typically you'll see these sales at a local grocery store, so that's where you wanna watch for those things the most. Stock up on your flour and sugar and any other baking goods you might find. As well as the next item to watch for is chocolate chips. Chocolate chips are a great deal around the holidays. They know everyone's baking Christmas cookies, but again, stock up to last through the full year. You can put them in your freezer and they'll store great, or you can keep them in a pantry, whichever one. It doesn't really matter, but just watch for those deals. A lot of times Sam's, and I know they're doing it again this year, will mark down their big giant bags of chocolate chips. Normally they're $10 for 72 ounces. Right now they're $9 for 72 ounces. A great deal on chocolate chips. I know Kroger often runs a buy two, get one free on their generics. Just keep an eye out on those sales and stock up on your chocolate chips during the holidays. So more sales you wanna watch for around the holiday are your canned goods, particularly your canned pumpkin. Canned pumpkin goes on sale around Thanksgiving, obviously, because everyone's making pumpkin pie. And again, some will make it around Christmas, but use this chance to stock up on your pumpkin for the rest of the year, especially if you like baking with pumpkin. Our family loves pumpkin bread. My kids love pumpkin chocolate chip muffins, and we make those regularly for breakfast as well as for gifts for people. So when the holidays roll around, I make sure I stock up on all the pumpkin I'm gonna need throughout the year. It is often carried in the grocery store year round, but some stores like Aldi will only sell it around the holidays. Another trick is to watch for the clearance after Thanksgiving. You'll often find pumpkin marked down even more on sale then if you don't catch one before the holidays. Another item to stock up on are your canned vegetables. Canned vegetables often go on sale around the holidays in November and December, so make sure you're watching for those. Things like your canned green beans, your canned corn, whatever vegetables your family uses, go ahead and watch for sales and stock up. Canned vegetables have a very long shelf life and they're a great thing to have in your pantry. So be sure to stock up on your canned vegetables around the holidays. 
Another thing to stock up on are your canned soups, particularly your cream soups, like your cream of chicken, your cream of mushroom, things that you would use in recipes. Now, if you only use cream of soup at the holidays to make your green bean casserole, don't stock up. But I know in our family, I use cream of chicken soup for things like our poppy seed chicken, a potato casserole, several other things. So I make sure that is the cream soup that I stock up on again. Know your family, know what you use, and if you find a good deal, make sure you stock up on it during the holidays. The cream of soups now are over a dollar a can, and a lot of times over the holidays, you can still see them drop down to 75 cents, or if you're really lucky, 50 cents a can. If you find a great deal, make sure you stock up on your creamed soups. And still, go ahead and watch for regular soups to start going on sale. Those typically tend to be on sale more in January, but sometimes you'll see a good deal on them around the holidays as well. Speaking of holidays, if you like the box stuffings, this is a great time to stock up on it. You will always see stovetop stuffing go on sale around the holidays, whether it's at Sam's or your regular grocery store. If you like that box stuffing, or even if you don't use it all the time, but just wanna have it in your pantry, this is a good time to stock up on your box stuffing, as well as any other gravies or broths or holiday things you might use. Watch for sales on those. The holidays are a great time to watch for sales on your potatoes and your sweet potatoes. Here's the thing about this. Yes, I know they're not canned, but you can make potatoes and sweet potatoes last a really long time. Last year I had sweet potatoes just in a bushel basket sitting in our laundry room, I think for six months before I ended up using all of them because I got them for 30 cents a pound. They last a really long time and you don't have to do anything to them. Potatoes, again, store a really long time. I like to buy potatoes in bulk, and when I find a good deal, I stock up, and then I've learned to just take like an old cardboard box, and I make sure the potatoes are all dry, and I layer them in the box, and then I put um, a sheet of newspaper just for a little bit of absorption and divide it, and then put another layer of potatoes and fill up my box, close it up, stick it in a dark spot. And I, for us, I use our basement, so I know it's cool. If you have a cool place to do this, I found our potatoes last several months doing this way. Now, every once in a while you get some that start sprouting and then I just make sure to use those right away and cut those spots off. But if you find a good deal on potatoes and sweet potatoes and your family eats those, my girls love baked potatoes, make sure you're stocking up around the holidays. Of course, around the holidays, you're gonna see deals on your meats, especially your turkey and your ham. Think outside the box. Who says you have to eat turkey just on Thanksgiving? If you find a really good deal, just throw it and you have space, throw an extra turkey in your freezer and eat it sometime in the winter. It's such a good deal at this time of year. So stock up on those deals on meats because meats are always so expensive. So if you find a great deal, get it now and put it in your freezer for whenever you want to use it. One more thing to stock up on over the holidays are your frozen pies and Cool Whip. Maybe you don't eat frozen pies, maybe you do, if you like that type of thing, or Cool Whip, they know people are serving these a lot around the holidays and you will always see sales on the frozen pies and your Cool Whip. Obviously they're meant to be kept in the freezer, so if you find a good deal, you use it and you use that throughout the year, go ahead and buy those now and put them in your freezer. There you have it, those are 10 different things you can easily stock up on and find good deals on around the holidays. Don't think your sales are over just when Christmas ends. Keep watching for those sales and watch for the clearance deals both after Thanksgiving and after Christmas. For example, things like even muffin cups, you know, those little paper liners, who cares what's printed on them? You know, same thing with cake mix or anything that's seasonal. If you can find it on clearance and it's a good deal, think outside the box and make sure you're stocking up. Watch for those deals around the holidays. And remember, you can save a lot of money on your groceries, not just Christmas gifts, as you're shopping around the holidays. I hope this was helpful and gave you some ideas of things to watch for. I'd love to know what sales you typically stock up on over the holidays in your groceries. I know we'll be stocking up on potatoes and butter, and I'm hoping for that flour and sugar sale to come soon. So thanks for watching. If you like this type of thing, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to join me for more um, tips about stockpiling and saving money on groceries. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.